So the general recommendation, if your baby has a diagnosis of CCAM, CCAM, or CPAM, CPAM, is to consult with us after birth. Generally, we'll recommend that your baby have further imaging studies, usually a chest x-ray and a CT scan. And then depending on what that shows, the vast majority of our patients we recommend to take out the um, affected area surgically. Fortunately, now our group has pioneered and led the way to do these procedures thoracoscopically or through minimally invasive or keyhole type operations. And this uh, eliminates the need for a large incision for these uh, types of operations. So generally, we would recommend having imaging at about six months and to have the surgery at about six to nine months of age. In a very small subset of patients, the CCAM causes problems before birth, high drops fetalis, and when appropriate, we may need to do some sort of surgery to correct the condition, either putting a shunt in to drain some of the fluid, or in circumstances where that's not possible, we'll do open fetal surgery to remove the tissue affected. The intervention, if we decide to offer that to you as a family, and of course it's your decision ultimately as to whether to go through with it, um, involves uh, open fetal surgery. So it involves uh, removing the CCAM from the baby's chest, which means we have to get to the baby through the uterus. So it's an operation like a cesarean section. We expose the baby's chest, remove the CCAM, close up the chest, and continue the pregnancy. Um, we have as much experience as anyone in the world in doing this procedure. It was first done here at UCSF. It is now done in a couple of other places around the world, uh, but we have as much experience as anyone else. And our survival uh, with that treatment is in the 60% range. Um, we believe that the survival is close to zero if we don't proceed. So it is not perfect, but it offers uh, uh, hope for babies with that very rare form of CCAM. The babies who survive in general do very well, but there is a risk when the CCAM is so big that it has caused almost permanent damage to the lungs. So there is a group who survive the surgery but still have significant lung disease. Uh, the majority of babies who survive the surgery do very well in, in the long term. The really wonderfully amazing thing about taking this big lump out of uh, uh, fetus's chest is, if you, is that the lung will fill the whole thing up again. And if you look within a week, the fetus is starting, this little bit of lung is starting to grow, and by the time the kid's born, it can look normal. You can have essentially a normal chest x-ray with a normal amount of lung on that side and on that side. And remember, we make new alveoli. You actually make new lung tissue until you're about eight years old. So you have lots of chance to grow up, to, to have perfectly normal lung function, even though you've had a big lump taken out.